Man, I have just got to shave. That's a tweet from the house. There is a new version of Home Assistant out, so I wanna upgrade. Let's go inside, let's take care of that. In the meantime, roll the intro. Hey guys, so I'm experimenting with a couple different types of videos. So this one's gonna be like more of a tutorial uh, right around HA. I had to upgrade my home assistant, it's a Docker container to the latest version, which is 7.8.3. So I was running a 7.7 version. I just wanted to show you exactly how I go about doing the upgrade. I have some scripts that I just run. Basically, it runs the entire upgrade for me. So I'll walk through the scripts while we're doing this, and then I'll show you how I'm how I'm upgrading everything in Docker. There's some links below uh, that talk about my journey to Docker. Maybe that's helpful, you can check that out. You can see I went from a Raspberry Pi to a Docker image running on my laptop. But uh, right now, running on Docker, time to upgrade. Let me show you how I do it. I putty into my laptop, which is what we see on the screen now. I have a special directory called Docker files. So I'm just gonna go here, cd docker files. In here, I have some, uh, I have my Docker Compose, I have a couple other files, but the one we're concerned about is this little file called HA Upgrade. So I'm gonna do HA Upgrade. And then what this is gonna do is it's gonna shut down all my containers. So all the containers that are running on my Docker, it's gonna shut them down, and then it's going to look to upgrade all of them, including Home Assistant. So we have Home Assistant, we have Grafana, uh, Muxy Mux, uh, Unify, uh, ESP Home, MQTT, Influx. So you can see here, it, there is a new version of Home Assistant. It's gonna grab it. it there was no, uh, we are running the latest version of Influx and Grafana and Mosquito. So all of those were checked already. So in my Docker Compose file, I actually have I have to download the latest. So what's great about this is if there's some issue with this 781, I can easily just change the value to 780 or 77, run this upgrade script again, and then it will downgrade. So that's really great for rolling stuff back. Docker is just super easy to use. If you haven't moved to Docker yet, I highly encourage it. Ooh, there's a new version of MuxiMux. So sometimes when I run this upgrade, I'm not even sure what it's gonna upgrade, but I, I because they're all Docker images and I can roll them back so easily, I just let them all go. So once everything's updated, it then creates new containers for them and then starts them up. So it does start them up in a particular order. So in, in this case, we're gonna start up MQTT, InfluxDB. Um, those two are the are, are dependent. So after they come up successfully, then Home Assistant will launch. The other ones we just bring up in no particular order. So there's Grafana. Grafana depends on the database being up and running, and so does Home Assistant. Home Assistant is fully up and running. I actually get a little alert on my phone. We'll look at that notification as well. So this way, if the container ever reboots or Home Assistant ever reboots, I'll just get a message when Home Assistant's up and running and ready to accept connections. At this point, if you, we can actually exit out of this, because this is the last piece of the script, and we can run our custom log which will show Home Assistant running. And there's my alert, Home Assistant's up and running. Now if we go to our information page, we can see that we're running 078.3. So that's how we do the upgrade. Um, to look at the actual scripts and how they work, I'll show you what they do. They're just basic scripts that I'm gonna publish on my GitHub repo. So if you haven't checked that out, check it out. Just look for Seekistan on uh, GitHub and you'll find all these configuration files. We have two files. So we have our HA update. So if I open this in Notepad++. So this is very straightforward. We just make sure we're in the right directory. We do a Docker Compose down, which brings everything down. We do a Docker Compose pull, which pulls all the new versions. And then we do a Docker Compose up dash D, which brings everything up, but in the background, which is super cool. So once that's done, it looks at this Docker Compose. So this Docker Compose is on my GitHub. 
this is definitely where all the information is. So that Docker Compose up basically just runs all of these different services. So we can see we're running this container, we're running this container, and these are the options. MQTT comes up, Grafana, InfluxDB, and then here's our home assistant. So we can see here, we're just pulling down the latest. If I wanted to downgrade, like I said before, you can put a particular version in here. You would then just uncomment this and comment that. Um, this tells it what the container name is. We're gonna say always restart if there's an issue. And then here's the part where um, it does the it, it, it does the ordered upgrades or, or rather ordered starts. So here's influx and here's MQTT. So we check to make sure both of these things are running before we start the next one. Uh, and then we run, uh, we map our volumes and then we run the rest of the apps. So this is the way I, well, rather this is the way I upgrade my Docker. So it's very, very straightforward. It's all scripted. I just have a nice little shell script. We have our Docker Compose running and then uh, everything is in that Docker Compose. So it really couldn't be simpler for me. Hopefully this is helpful and let me know in the comments how you do your upgrades.